Welcome back to Two Bros in a Coffee Shop. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Welcome back to episode 12, Two Chefs in a Kitchen. My name is Grant, and I'm going to be the food critic for today's episode. And I'm joined by... Chef Jay. And I'm Chef Mark. And today we're going to show you some coffee-related recipes that you can make at home uh, during this quarantine. And we're going to be talking to you to find out what your go-to drinks are during this time. Well, I'm really glad to have you here on this episode today, Mark. You were kind of showed up in the last episode, but you know what? We were like, let's make it official. Let's bring you on for this special episode of Two Chefs in a Kitchen. And I am super excited to be here, guys. He's basically an honorary bro. Oh, like, you, you're in. Oh, like, feel the love. That, that, that's basically it. So season two, Mark is going to be full on, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> let's see. We'll, uh, we'll think about it. Yeah, but uh, we've got some... Crossing my fingers. <laughs> we've got some exciting things lined up for this podcast episode, as Mark has kind of alluded to. Also, I don't know if you guys saw the live stream. Um, hopefully you guys did, because it's probably deleted by now because of the release date of this episode. But mm -hmm. in that live stream, we made a drink. And uh, do you want to share about it? Can't pronounce the real name, but technically it's whipped coffee. Uh, it's like Dragadal or Dragnon. And uh, it's a it's a huge craze now because basically all the Starbucks are either closed or drive through so people are trying to come up with cool things to do at home. So we have different ingredients, and we did instant coffee, sugar, and hot water, and we made this really cool um, whipped coffee, for se, and everybody's looked in it. We mm -hmm. even showed on the... Uh, do you want to do the blizzard test? Yeah, live it stream. It looks amazing. No, like not yeah. going anywhere, boys and girls. Like Flipping it's, it's it upside there. down and it's thick enough to yeah. stay. It is like, it's not coming out. So um, I'm just going to crack open some ice cubes. Yeah, because this is like an iced creamish coffee. We're really excited to try it because me and Mark, we haven't actually had it yet. But honestly, it kind of has that texture of like a smooth kind of natural peanut butter. That's kind of yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. Um, peanut butter caramel it's, looks good. And like we were literally um, mixing it for about 10 minutes um, on the live stream. I think it was 20. <laughs> well, no, that was the whole the whole live stream was 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, you got to get three ice cubes. That's what I saw online. Oops. Ice cubes going everywhere. There you go. Okay, so okay. then you use a little bit of milk. Bring in the milk. We've got three kind of whiskey looking glasses that we're putting these in. Hey, that's how you do it. And we're even putting in the ice as well. It just feels like rich. Look at that chef, Mark. Got that open first time. That looks good. So it's Those one be third milk. Just letting you guys know. One third milk. All right, here he goes. Pouring it in. Oh, that sounded like Coke. That sounds delicious already oh <laughs> as it's literally just ice cubes sitting in milk yeah. oh but my that sound <laughs> sounds so dope i never was in the asmr until now. neither would, was i but i'm totally i totally get it now there you go i think that's fair listen a true chef doesn't measure just put it in what feels right and just letting you guys know it's uh dose percent so wow for the spanish speaking oh. <laughs> look at that boy. portion of our audience so true. now we're going to grab the whipped coffee with the two percent milk with the ice cubes three of them and we're gonna little oh my Man. gosh look at this it literally looks like peanut why is it floating it's supposed to float it's mm. whipped true true one second. I'm gonna make sure that everybody gets a little bit before we start getting all artsy on the kids. Whoa. So, while uh, while Jason kind of does this, Mark, how have you been? Uh, I've been well. Yeah, I've been enjoying the quarantine time. Um, just been getting more sleep and eating better. And right on, yeah, right on. The day's been a little more uh, regimented and. Each day is the same, but you make it. So you make it a good day. I've been losing track of what day it is. Have you noticed that, or I think is it's, it like? I think it's March. Th uh, what thirty fifth? <laughs> literally brings up a right. fake date. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. That the month that never ends. Yeah, true, true, literally. True. Um, I'm sort of just counting it from the day that the businesses it's, it's only essential businesses that was a big day mm, right right yeah so for those that may be listening in the future 
or from a different part in the area were in Ontario and there was a list released about two weeks ago mm-hmm. that uh, all essential business non-essential businesses had to be shut down so that's a very kind of mark in our timeline if yes, that makes sense it really is and it's supposed to only last two weeks but we're coming up on two weeks mm-hmm. this Wednesday yeah so we'll see what okay. happens exactly so um, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself and also I told Mark I wanted him to eat this dry before we tried it. Oh, really? I don't remember that. Okay. You ready? <laughs> I was getting it straight up? Yeah, straight uh, up. The whole thing? Mm-hmm. The, whole, the thing. whole thing. The whole thing. Whole thing. Just like the end. <laughs> is it strong? <laughs> that is strong. That is, that's was basically... It, is, okay, is it strong coffee-wise or strong sugar-wise? It's strong coffee-wise. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> um, Just wasn't expecting it. So, strong, just took a picture good. so I can share it for you guys on uh, the live uh, for later on. And right. basically, here you go, Grant. Oh my goodness. This is your whipped coffee that everybody All requested. Right. So if you can see the different layers. The layers are that nice. Looks that is prominent. Like that you can pretty. see those layers. So now we're going to, you can take a little sip, but then we're going to mix them in. Okay. okay. So cheers, cheers, boys. Cheers. Or salute. It's pretty good. Honestly, no, I'm not good. even getting like the whip. It's just the milk coming out from the bottom. Now you can be brave soldiers and mix this in. Let's mix that together. As I edit this audio later, you are just going to hear <laughs> us stirring this in. You have to give it a good stir. Yeah, you do. This will be for this will be the background for the upcoming um, theme Ooh. song change. That'd be cool. Just us. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Little, little. Wow. Oh. Oh, this wow. Is, that tastes so good. Dude, second time's the charm. I just oh, yeah. licked the stuff off the spoon, and now I know why Mark was like, <laughs> wow, this is way. really strong. But at the same but time, I like it's strong. really good. I like strong. This is good. It is. Which is true. Let me like, bring up. Let me bring up that um, point. Can I just say how much sugar was in this as well? It was like what half the cup. True. True. It's pretty good. But you know, it's worth it. Right. Cheat, but let me bring up this pack it, part um, point that Mark just brought up. So on our last episode, we kind of bashed Tam, but that's coming from me and Jason. But Mark really enjoyed it. So I just do. to bring up the fact that, like, if you're into strong coffees, like, go for it. Like, Mark, he's it's actually... My, it's my coffee. I it's like now it. his, like, favorite coffee. Like, this yep. is his go-to coffee. So just bringing it back, just being like, hey, you know what, Tamp? Like, if you enjoy a dark, dark, deep, strong coffee, go for it. Yeah. Mark will stand by it. And I since he's now it. an honorary, like, bro of the podcast, hey. like, there you go. You, we, you have the two brothers in a pot, uh, in a coffee shop. <laughs> Seal of approval. There you go. Dude, should... all the name changes are just starting to, like, crumble up in my mind here. <laughs> That's fair. So, um, but let's go back to Mark. What's one skill that you're learning during the quarantine? Mm. Um, well, I've been... I'm just continuing learning um, my Spanish. Right. Okay. So I'm improving. Uh, we had to take, I take lessons twice a week. Um, we couldn't last week because things were in flux, but now I'm starting to take it online. Nice. And it's, it's pretty good. It's just, it's almost as good as being in person. Awesome. Um, <laughs> now, I don't want to put you on the spot, but yeah. can you give like a little sample of Spanish? Ooh. Uh, there's just the obvious ones that I think. Um, like maybe coffee related, maybe? Just say, just say a sentence into the mic. Okay. A small sentence. Uh, quiero un café con leche. I just want Ooh. a coffee with milk. some milk. Yes, there we there go. go. Something bit. really simple. We were supposed to put cinnamon on this because that's what it was in the photo, but uh, that sucks. This is actually good. Like, <laughs> other than the fact that it's just coated in sugar, mm-hmm. we're gonna have to go for a run after this, boys. Me and Mark are gonna run at 10k. Yes. Hey. What we're actually going to do is we're going to calculate all the calories that we take in from the sugar. Bro, please. And from there, find out what if we have If you do on. that, that'd be blessed. I've already done it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. He's so already calculated. He's the like, calories. I know the calories of everything here. The next thing that we're going to 
attempt is what Mark brought in. But Mark, you want to say a little bit about this? Yeah. Let me. Let's let's say for the audio listeners, there's a plate. And there's some rectangular square shaped objects on it. Mm. And it's colored coffee colors, kind of that brown chocolatey style, brown. The chocolatey brown. Mm. And now Chef Mark, let's present it. Yeah, this is a really simple um, six ingredient espresso uh, brownie. Mm. Yeah. You can so, make this at home basically saying really you guys that are quarantined and self, you can just whip these babies right up. Yeah. Um, right on. You put you your love and your heart and your soul into these. Could we and get some espresso? <laughs> could we get a uh, like a recipe and post it on our Instagram? Absolutely. Okay, we'll do that. We'll All right, let's, let's try these. Let's Ooh, n- okay. enough talking. Let's let's bite into this. Oh my uh, goodness! I recommend that you get take this glass, add some extra milk into there. Okay. Because brownies are not the same without milk. That's some true. Milk. All right, get pass some, it down. Get Jason. some milk. You guys remember some, that? Some milk oh my with vitamin R. Yeah. <laughs> some milk. All right, here we go. And then pass that bad boy right over back to me. Oh. Maybe coffee oh. flavored milk, but we're gonna go with it. Coffee flavored milk's the best. All right. I little, don't know what, okay, wait, you little little dunkaroo. Get your little action dunk right on. here. Oh, we're gonna dunk it. Okay. L- little dunk, dunk. Oh my gosh. There's whipped cream basically on my brownie. There's this looks gonna be a, amazing. A oh, double dose oh, of coffee. Looks like caramel on okay. it. Wow. Okay, this doesn't Ooh. taste. This, like, this, this is tastes, good. This takes brownie to a whole new level. It's got that little something mm. different. That little thick, you know what I mean? Yeah, just a little five-hour energy in, the, in that extra taste good. <laughs> the weird thing is, is I thought there was going to be a bigger coffee taste to it, but mm. it's so nice and subtle that it it's like it's really good. Buddy, I love the Dunkin' in this thing. Dang. This mm. is amazing. This was a good pairing, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like... It's like a special nice, milk too. It's like a, it's just a nice pork dog. chop with a nice like uh, cranberry glaze or something like that, or like a maple glaze. It's like a good pairing. Mm. Mm. I'll wait till you finished it to tell you how many calories we have to burn off. Oh gosh. Yeah. I love how episode 12 is literally going to be audio of us just eating, and I'm sorry, <laughs> and I apologize in advance, but this is really good. Like, mm. wow. We you really, just, we really brought it. The chefs mm-hmm. brought it. Watch uh, it on YouTube. Yes, you can see it. Um, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come look at it, it up on uh, YouTube. Also, apparently, I'm supposed to be the critic, mm-hmm. and there's not much I can pick out other than the fact that I'm probably going to be on a sugar high for the next couple of days. Um, if you had to pick between whipped coffee or brownie, which one would you take, Grant? But the thing is, is the whipped coffee paired so well with the brownie, mm. like dipping it in yeah. it, like mm. I literally can't, like I can't, like together. That's what I want. So That's as being I'll, as being a tea master, Mark, uh, Grant, you're gonna have to tell us out of all the coffees you're gonna try today, you gotta you, you gotta give us one and be like, okay, that's the best one. So I know you are drinking tea mm. later, but I should whip you up one and we should let you try it because uh, I gotta get something that 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 doesn't taste as good, so you can see if it what the range is. No, That's but like we've had some pretty strong coffee in the past couple true, of days, true. right? No, like this was does good. this does this beat brothers? Huh. It's a different level. Like uh, you can't you can't right? Like, it's like a milkshake coffee. Yeah. Exactly. Like just like we said way back in the day, you can't have an iced coffee and a hot coffee. Like you can't compare those two. Right back on episode one. This would actually be a good one. Like you're on the cottage, you're on the boat. You know what I mean? Yes. Having a little mm. suntan. Or then this like is the coffee that you bring out when you have guests over. Yeah, like, but like you just, your like, girl, I'm it's saying, a crowd like, pleaser. All of a sudden, she like gets on the boat. Your girl brings these out, and you're like, "What is that?" And then you're just like brings it down, and you're like blowing your mind. And then, dude, we should do like we were saying at the very, very beginning podcast about how we want to do one on a boat. We should do this on the boat. Yes. Bring it back with Mark. <laughs> I'm on a boat. With my flippy floppies. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what's next? Uh, well, generally, we're going to be kind of talking about moving right into drinks. Ian, you already brought up that I'm going to be drinking tea. Um, this is true. And this uh, episode is kind of based around, as Mark stated at the beginning, 
um, what you guys are drinking. What is your go-to comfort food slash drink, but generally drinks um, for this kind of portion of what you're gonna be drinking at home. And for me right here, I've got David's Tea Cinnamon Rooibos Chai. This is kind of my go-to drink. I've been drinking it um, a couple days. I kind of rotate my teas, but this is one of my favorites. Um, and since we already had Forever Nuts, I decided let's go with Cinnamon Roy Boss Chai. Forever um, Nuts is pretty good. I think I did introduce you to this tea though. When I had that Christmas set, and then I like, and I was like, oh, I hate this tea. And then I was like, do you think you'd like it? And then you're like, and then this is like literally my favorite. And I just kept <laughs> oh, drinking it's it. It's so bad, guys. Like if you're a coffee person, like hardcore, like cream guy, or like Mark with like just black, just black, you would. You would like throw this thing against the wall. That's why they don't have it on Air Canada. But like for you as a tea person, no, I had tea, some tea, and I liked it. Well, I, he I, had forever. Nuts. I did not throw it against the wall. Don't be I nice. No, be nice. I haven't brought this in for you yet, have I? Oh mm-hmm. no, no I'm going to bring this you in. You had forever one. nuts because forever nuts okay, is good. Yeah. So like this stuff, you got to be a ah, tea lover. Like we have some tea lovers on the podcast. So true, but I mean, do you like iced tea? Yo, get that crap out of here. <laughs> no, okay, so he doesn't. I don't do the sugar. Except Mitch, for this. Fair, fair, yeah. fair. Okay. It's a, it's a good tea. So that's what I'm going to be drinking on this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys can choose what you guys are drinking. Because you guys are on the coffee side of things. I'm just kind of like over here. Just tea. Going to drink my little tea over here. Okay. <laughs> so um, I got three coffees over here, Mark. But I think the one that would suit you best would be something that's called Muskoka Maple. Okay. My all-time favorite. Since the summertime, I've been cranking these out every day they're a little on the pricey side they're like $18.99 for 20 of them but the flavor is so much better than Tim Hortons and it's just like or any coffee don't really just hate on them Kroger's or um, Maxwell House or anything like that like yeah. it's just like it brings you home and you think that you're literally taking it like drinking it when you're making it at house like wow. it's that kind of thing and it takes I'm curing. getting excited the other cool thing is is a lot of microplastics are in Keurig pods, mm-hmm. but these ones, they have a 100% compostable um, mesh, so you can actually throw this in the compost, and it doesn't, actually, it doesn't actually give you like cancer, because they say the plastic can hurt you if you over time, so this is actually more healthier for you in the long run. Costs more, better for you. Flavor's amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that smells good. So it smells so good. So I'm gonna and local because Muskoka. It is. It is. So local. how did you find out about this? Where did you get this from? Um, a friend of mine, um, where we talked about in the podcast in the past, Sam. She actually introduced me to this at her cottage in Muskoka. So nice. the funny That's thing was perfect. is in Muskoka, and I was like, all of a sudden they're like, which one do you want to try? And I was like, that one kind of looks cool because I've never, I never. This is the first time me seeing the Keurig with the weird bag. Yeah, that's different. Because I've never, I haven't seen that, and I was like, can I try that out? And then I was like, my mind was blowing. And then I just saw all of these. And this one, if they made this into a cappuccino, would probably maybe match up with Crossroads. The oh. one I keep telling Grant that I want to try mm-hmm. out so badly. Mm-hmm. So uh, we don't have a French press today. We actually have the, the Keurig because this is at home, basically, edition. That's true. That's true. Like, we got to make it easy, fast. Yep. For just, you. just get that coffee roll out in the morning. So we're going to take Mark's Milan starbucks roast uh, reserve roastery and uh put it under this is basically where all the best coffee comes from in the world mm-hmm. I'm put gonna it underneath pour, start pouring my tea as we're well we're gonna do uh eight ounce because a 10 ounce mug so a little okay. bit of room there we go there we go and uh you kind of brought up sam's name and what she's drinking surprisingly um we put a poll up on our uh, Instagram and we've got That's a couple true. of the answers but Sam's tea um, drink is Tetley's green tea. Decaf too. That's what they Tetley's. said. Which I was like, okay. Um, so there you go, Jason. Not wow. everyone is a coffee drinker on this podcast. Tetley's green tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think she's actually told me that like because they, I think her mom or dad drinks coffee and then they all drink tea so it's kind of embarrassing and I'm like, shoot, I know tea drinkers but I try to get to with the coffee group. You know what I mean? There's like that certain culture. Mm-hmm. Like cyclists, they all drink coffee. And you're really? Like, yeah. My dad's a cyclist. I, I didn't know, know this, yeah. but like the more and more I talk to people, it's actually a thing. Like they go to they go to coffee clubs and yeah. they like they like sit in there after their bike rides and they drink coffee. Huh. We're gonna have an episode on in the future. I know some weightlifters that coffee is their pre is their pre workout. Oh, that's true. Also, yeah. we're Which doing a little. Sense. Because of everything we've done, we're doing a healthy edition because we didn't grab cream. So we're going to be drinking all of our coffee with milk today. 
Okay. True. True. Um, yeah. Except I've got tea, so. But I'm you got to drink this black because I. Even that's drink, the way. I even that's drink That's the this way black. that I do it. That's how good it is. Okay. That's how impressive it is. It's that good. So I'll uh, <laughs> take this Kier egg out. Here's the here's the best thing. I have a Cafe Illy, mm-hmm. um, and basically, we talked about this where I wanted to compare it to Tim Hortons on the first episode. It is probably it is also from Italy. One of the best coffees I've ever had, um, and the flavors are so good. And I can't get enough of it. There's one in Yorkdale in, in Canada. There's only two places in Canada that actually have local shops that they'll make it for you with the Italian ingredients oh, in the wow. Italian machines that they shipped over. They're like over fifty thousand dollars the machines, and they and they make it for you. So this makes Keurig taste good. So other than Muskoka Maple, go to four. Fourteen dollars for ten, which is absurd, but it's a banger. Love it. Um, if you're gonna do it, do it well. Oh, for sure. Make um, this little thing. I mean, coffee's good, but I've also got another suggestion that someone dr- drops in on mm-hmm. the poll, um, and this one is Emily, and she says she drinks the same thing that I'm drinking today, but cinnamon rooibos chai from David's Tea, all-time favorite. Wow. So we've got some more mm. tea drinkers. Mm-hmm. Just going to be dropping That's names crazy. throughout the podcast. Um, Look at that. Look at that color. That looks pretty. That sound. Like the Keurig that makes a good sound. True, true. It's a little bit louder than our coffee press where we're just <laughs> pressing the coffee. It's true. The audio listeners are getting a treat today. They're like, whoa. Adds to the whole experience. I mean, you can also do Keurigs, but you can also go out to get coffee. And there's this person, Kathleen. She wrote in Starbs, mm. exclamation point. So people have got to have their Starbucks. I think it's pronounced Kath- Catherine. And her- that's actually my cousin. So you know the guy that we talked about? Catherine. You know, you it know has she- an L in it. Well, she spells it weird. Okay. But you know um, Stephen that I talked about in the past, we're supposed to go skiing together? Right. That's his, that's his twin sister. Okay, so obviously oh, you know okay. how to say her name, but then yes. it's written Kathleen. She, I, I think I think it was taken, so she wrote a, a, a different name for okay. Instagram, which is crazy. Okay. But, hey, no hating on you. So, Mark, do you want to do a little bit of a, yeah, a, just a waiting black for you. sip? All right, let's do this. And then with, uh, there's Mark's cup, or I mean Grant's cup. Yeah, Grant, so, what's on your cup? <laughs> so you probably didn't see it at the start because I didn't show, but um, there was, this mug was black, and now, um, here you go, Mark. You that can is see great. There is a photo of some guy with two budgies on his head <laughs> right. that says Christmas 2019. I kind of got the interesting cup that... Uh, just that was, because that I was, was having tea, because tea gives you that hot water feel. But it's basically Jason's uh, mug, and uh, you want to uh, share the story behind this? Yeah, a friend gave it to me. His name is Winston, and basically, for Christmas, he took a picture of his head and put it on a mug, and I literally opened it up and I said, you literally gave me a black mug for Christmas? And then he's like, man, I'm sorry about that. I know I just, I, I had to grab something last minute. What, what about you go make a coffee? Cause he always roasts me about drinking coffee. And um, just at like random times at night. And then I make a coffee and then his face shows up and I'm like, what the heck is happening here? So legendary mug, um, one of my favorites. And then it says, yeah, Christmas 2019 on it. So great guy. And then he got me some Gymshark sweatpants. So all around, awesome. like just- It was a good- That is solid. Great, so, great Christmas gift. I thought you grabbed a different mug because I remember that being <laughs> a black mug before. Yep, yeah, 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 no, no. Okay. Just like, did that just come out Pretty of nowhere? Okay, so uh, we'll clink it. Okay. Clink it before we drink it because uh, yeah. quarantine. Yeah. Gotta love the okay, tea, what is that? Ta- does that taste good to you? Oh yeah, I it's do a like medium that. blend. Yeah, it is. So I put a little milk in mine because, holy smokes, that's black. I like drinking that black. This one's really, really dark. This is a dark roast. Well, it's a light roast, but it's a darker light roast. If that makes any sense. Yeah, there's a bit of sweetness. There's. And then when we're there. finished these, I want to show um, Mark, Chef Mark, yes. a special um, French roast that they actually discontinued. From Starbucks, that is amazing. This one mm. knocks your socks off. This one's a hardcore dark one. 
Like it, it, That'll it wakes, probably be more my it style. It wakes me up in the morning. Like I have this one and I haven't had a second cup because usually I drink two cups of coffee to get me awake. And I'm just like blowing back. And I'm just like, okay, I'm ready for the ready for the sales, ready for the data. Yeah. Like wired. And I'm already wired as it is. And then I'm like Lightning McQueen. You know what I mean? <laughs> winning that. That's a good description. Winning, winning that race. Holy smokes. People can't stop me. I'm going to use my uh, coffee whipped. Mix this around. This cup is so amazing. Like, so this is the one person we want to have on. He actually got gifted to him. That's the, a beautiful mug. The great, the great Tim it's Shaw. So pretty. He uh, basically travels around everywhere, but someone, uh, one of our Italian coworkers basically got him with this mug and it's, yeah, it's from the special, the, the one and only, they roast it in house. And basically they got to compete with all the real Italian roasteries, right? So they, mm -hmm. they've changed everything. Like, it's not a Starbucks, let me just tell you guys. You guys think there's a drive-through here at this window? No way. Like, it's authentic baristas trained in-house. Like, they went over the top just because they don't want to get kicked out of the country because it took years for them to even get in allowed because mm -hmm. it, it, Italy actually banned them. They're like, we don't want you in here. And now, mm. is this the picture of the actual yes. building? That, that's It looks like a palace. You guys should see this. It's crazy. And then they have coffee coming from the ceiling that drains down after it's roasted. It gets insane. That sounds very wow. hygienic. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing is, no, it's in tubes, but like oh, Starbucks okay. isn't playing no games. Like right. they want to be make sure that they that the Italians respect them. Here's another person who's not playing games. Uh, we got another suggestion from Look It's Lexi, which says I make a cappuccino with milk and a cinnamon flavored creamer, either iced or hot. And I'm like, this is a, a good coffee game right here with like a cinnamon bun flavored creamer. Like who, who has that just in their house? So we've also got, uh, I I'm, don't know how, it's like, I think it's like Eleanor, but there's like letters in front of it. But Lisa Eleanor? Lisa Eleanor? Jason, right. do you know this person? I think it's a, uh, a, so a guy that I know is getting married to this girl. Okay, no, yeah, but do you know what her name is? <laughs> oh, Lisa. Okay. Oh, I think it's Lisa. Yeah. It's as Lisa. we try it's Lisa. like, as we try and like just pronounce it, you're just like, no, ah. help me go. Let's watch these guys just she, butcher this name. She, she wrote in, espresso is the way to go. Ooh, that's um, a that's a Mark kind of person right mm -hmm. there. Then we you're even, my kind of person, Lisa. Then we even have uh, Daver1980 who says um, he used to love Muskoka Maple, but now he is uh, Nespresso Pods for me. Mm. So well, Muskoka Maple is a little better than Nespresso Pods. Let's get it real here. Come on. Like Nespresso, the thing is that no one knows. Hey, we I have different Germany. people who drink different things, That's Jason. true. That's true. Sorry. No, no. I went to Germany <laughs> and the Nespresso Pods taste different here than there. I don't know if they use different mm. coffee because I used the exact same kind yeah. and it tasted stronger over there. And I said, are they making it weaker for the Canadians? Because they don't want to try That's probably it. Bro, I was cheesed. Because they do it proper over there. Every single time, and I tell Grant this, and I tell the podcast, cappuccino's life. Every single dinner, lunch, breakfast. Like, if you're in Europe, you get a cappuccino. Oh, it's yeah. Absolutely. Non-stop. Like, Absolutely. you're literally just cranking those things. And then it doesn't matter if you're going to sleep. You want a cappuccino, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. oh, and then you start crying because of how good it is. Oh, yeah. It's like you get emotional because you're yeah. like, I didn't go to Starbucks only just to buy mugs at the airport. Mm -hmm. I bought 14 of them because all the mugs were in the airport. And I was like, Dina, it's a coworker of mine, basically. And I was like, let's fill this up. So we get into a, a taxi cab or taxi. Yeah, cab. I say, I say tab. Taxi ta cab and <coughs> Uber. And basically I shoved four bags into the guy's trunk and the guy's just like, what the heck are you doing? And it was like $230, but I was like, it's worth it. And then I didn't go to Starbucks once at, on that whole trip. That was the only time I went because the coffee's so good there. It's, like, it's so good. And you come back and you get like withdrawal symptoms of not and having then, yeah, it. Yeah. It's, it's so, yeah. It, it's brutal. So like sorry, that was a, there. that was a hard side I, note. I feel but, you. Yeah. Right. I feel you. I get you 100%. Dude, that's why I want, like, I want to start traveling soon. Like get over to Spain. You know what I mean? Get some coffee. Spain, so Italy, basically what you're saying is Spain is the other side of the rainbow for coffee uh it's not bad i would say um paris is really good okay because zach wrote in starbucks rain shine blend Ooh. is what he's drinking so the other side of the rainbow you know rain shine uh, blend a little leprechaun on there <laughs> lucky, he, he probably eats lucky charms maybe um we've also got josh who wrote in tim horton's keurig pods a, a classic guy. yeah that guy he knows he's a canadian probably eh? 
probably. We've also got Jimmy, um, who wrote in Kroger. He's a Californian. Um, Look at that. We got Amer- we got internationalists in here. Yeah. So, and then I think we're we're starting to run uh, thin. We've also got someone who wrote in to a, a coffee. Uh, podcast that says I don't drink tea or coffee, and that's <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, she's a uh, she's an agua girl, man. She just she just drinks that all day. Um, and then we have uh, Dylan, and he just uh, drinks margaritas on the beach. Yep, that makes so. sense. <laughs> hey, if you can't drink coffee or tea, you yeah. drink. Mar- he should he should totally tell Elizabeth about that. Let her know that you can just drink margaritas. Right. Um, and then we also have some other um, stuff from Winston. Um, I don't know. Do you want to read out what he wrote in? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, wow, look at that. <laughs> it, it's a it's a list. Well, it's not even a list. This is like it's just his, the instructions his drink, on how to and make I'm, it. I want to bring it to him because he. I didn't know that he was such a huge coffee guy until recently. Because I know he drinks usually like some coffees here and there, but he just a vente half whole milk, one quarter, one percent, one quarter non fat, extra hot, split quad shots, one and a half decaf. Two and a half shots regular because you know one keeps caffeine levels up, but he also still wants to sleep at night. No foam latte with whip. Two packets of Splenda because he wants to keep his sugar down. One mm-hmm. sh- raw sugar. A <laughs> touch, a touch of vanilla syrup. That's only one pump, boys and girls, or maybe one, like half a pump. Uh, and three short sprinkles of cinnamon because you know cinnamon's very strong. So this guy knows what he's talking about. He does. Um, this guy's a connoisseur. I mean, I'm literally drinking from his mug too, by the way. He. he He's a he's a bigger coffee guy than I am, which is insane. I can tell. Um, and yeah, he's he's great. So we're actually um, some people wanted to call in to us, and we're gonna we're gonna call them right now and uh, and ask them what their their thoughts are on uh, the coffee and uh, what they're doing right now during the whole pandemic. Yeah. All right. So let's let's hit it. Who are you gonna call first, Jason? How about we call Winston? All right. Why why, why, why not? Drink it from his mug. Yeah. Just read his uh, go-to drink <laughs> that I don't even know how it fits in one mug, but I want him right the now. Drink that takes longer to go. Okay, here we go. See if he picks up. Hello. Hey, welcome to uh, Two Chefs in the Kitchen. We were just reading your drink order. It sounds very elaborate, and we love it. Oh, thank you, mate. So uh, it's, it's a common order for me, and I try to keep up to it as much as possible. Oh, it, it sounds amazing, and, and, I, and I get why you have the decaf versus the regular. You want to sleep at night, but you also want to get your kick during the day, so you're not going full on. Um, right now, you're joined on with uh, Mark, an honorary uh, two bros, and Grant, our uh, food, cr- food critic, and uh, me, the chef, Jay. So uh, basically, we just wanted to ask you some questions. Uh, Grant, do you have any uh, questions you want to ask him? Yeah, Winston. So, uh, what is your go-to um, like drink at home? I know we just kind of re- re- um, like read about it, but what what do you drink? Like, what are you drinking on today? the daily? Yeah, on the daily. Um, I actually f- I'm a great follower of the show, so my favorite thing to drink is actually Muskoka Maple Coffee, which Jason hey. recommended. There we go. Wow. wow. Let, let me All right. let, let me. L- All right. I can't speak right now, <laughs> but uh, Mark is actually drinking Muskoka Maple right now, and he's enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. He drinks I it know, black. I knew Mark sounded like mine kind of man. <laughs> what a guy. Black coffee only. And yep. uh, another question just for the viewers at home. What is, um, like, what are you doing in quarantine? What is maybe a skill you're picking up? or To pass uh, the time. To pass the time, yeah. I Honestly, I've taken up bird watching. It's oh. quite enthralling. Oh. Uh, well, it's been a good time, and I think I, I, I invested a, quite a sum of money into a, a nice pan of binoculars, you know. Oh. But the problem is, I live in a field, and there's no trees. So I, I haven't seen a bird yet, but I'll let you know if I do. I literally got woken up today um, by a bird knocking on the window, and I actually need to cut a branch because it just keeps knocking on it every day. So if there was no quarantine, I'd say, hey, come over to my house, and you could literally watch a bird knock on the window all day. True. I think you like I, you, you like parakeets, don't you? Excuse me. <laughs> we have your mug here that you uh, that that you gifted to us with your your two parakeets. Oh on yes, it. of course. Yeah, I mean those are actually dinner, not 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 for good watching. Ah, uh, that makes sense now. Well, thank you so much, Winston, for uh, getting on the show, and I'm happy that you you're loving that. And uh, I hope you can listen to this next episode next Tuesday, seven a.m. Will do. Thanks, guys. Thank well, you. Have Thanks. a great day. Bye. Bye. Wow, I love that guy. He's... He, he he ate those birds. <laughs> that is uh, that's extra. It's a very interesting guy. All yeah, right. that's his culture. Yeah.
That is so, culture. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know what they do. I don't. I've never thought about eating parakeets. But parakeets yeah. that he literally sent on a mic to you. <laughs> yeah. I hope he gets more luck with those birds. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad for him. Yeah, it's mm. tough. If he invested into it. So. True. Yeah. We yeah. have another caller actually. Um, her name's Lexi. So how about I give her a ring? And Lexi, is she is was she the cinnamon bun person? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Let's give her a call. See if she picks up. Hello. Hey, welcome to Two Chefs in a Kitchen. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, we uh, we love to have you on as a fellow listener of ours of the Two Bros in a Coffee Shop. But today is a special episode. So with uh, Mark and me as chefs, Hello. and with uh, Grant as a food critic. So Grant, would you like to uh, ask Lexi some questions? Okay, Lexi. So we've read your um, Instagram answer, um, and we're just wondering what is your go-to coffee of the day like what you drink on the daily um so i normally make myself like a cappuccino um i i love sweet drinks so normally i put um some kind of like flavored creamer in it um my current favorite is um a cinnamon creamer ooh, so it's, ooh. Like, it's cinnamon. sweet and cinnamony so i really like that um i normally don't drink it um, with just coffee and milk, I need, I need that sugar in there. Yeah. You okay. Gotta... Okay. So basically, what you're saying is the answer that you you gave is like really honest. Like this is your everyday. Just make that coffee, add that flavor, and just enjoy it. Yeah, that's my staple. I I don't really uh, venture beyond that. But I did. I saw your um, I saw your Instagram video earlier today. The live stream. Wow. Yeah, the live stream. Um. That uh, that other coffee you made, the um, whipped coffee, like, the drag the dragnol. Coffee. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Yeah, I tried making that the other day, and I actually really liked that too. I thought it was really good. Well, you um, were de- when you were describing, you really liked the sweet coffee and stuff. I was like, well, we just made something that I think you would really enjoy. But apparently, you've already made it, so you're ahead yeah. of the times. Yeah, actually, um, it's a really popular kind of coffee in Greece. Oh. So. Oh. Oh. Americans are just jumping on the train now. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Canadians exactly. too. Um, yeah, so I drank that a lot, like when I went to visit there. So. Oh shoot! Oh, wow. You're world, world traveler wow. we have here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you doing to pass the time right now during this crazy pandemic? Um, I try to get outside and exercise a lot. Like I try to leave my house. Um. That's not, I, that's I not like bad. Running. Yeah, uh, I, like I, I run, I've been running uh, 10Ks every single day. So I think that's the, oh, wow. that's, that's the best thing. Yeah, just trying to keep outside, get get on the Fitbit, try to get your steps in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get the, mm-hmm. get that little 3,500 calories kind of marker. I don't know. You get you get bored enough where you just start tracking and you're like, what's my heart rate at? Or something like that. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Yeah. So. We're, yeah. we're we're in crazy times right now, but uh, I know. Hey, at least you're not drinking Keurig. That's the most important part. You're making it from <laughs> scratch every day. We we respect that as the as the two bros in the coffee shop. So, well, oh, well, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Lexi, and hope you have a great yeah, day. Of course. Thank you for having me. Have a good one. Okay. All see right, ya. Bye, bye, Lexi. All right. Bye. Wow, okay, so we've got a lot of people who are getting out in nature. Yeah. We've got bird watching. And some hardcore heavy, like coffee people. Like I thought it was going to be all Ke- like Keurig people, but these people are legit making either Vente coffees with yeah. a long list or making homemade cappuccinos, which is super impressive. Like I love it. I'm proud of yeah. what our listeners are coming out here and, and actually caring about what they make and not just trying to drink the, the crappy everyday Keurig that you're yeah. literally <laughs> drinking right now. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is, it's good still, but it's also good for the planet, right? So there, our viewers are saving the planet, um, and and they're and they're really tasting what the coffee bean really means, at itself, and and everybody's drinking it black. So I'm even need to be on the black train now. Other than Lexi, I might have to join Lexi or, or uh, Winston. But yeah, we got to try some flavored yeah. creamers. I think the, the last person we get to call is uh, the rain rain shine blend guy, Zach. Zach. Yes. Yeah, and give and give him a ring about it. Okay. Hey, Jay. Hey, uh, this is Chef Jay, and you're on uh, Two Chefs in a Kitchen. We just wanted to hear about how you're a listener to our podcast, and we wanted to know 
Um, what tea and co- what, what's your go-to tea and coffee during this uh, crazy time right now, COVID-19? Okay, sure. Well, good afternoon, fellas. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're, you're on with Mark and Grant. Sorry about that. It's all good. Uh, so I have been drinking the Starbucks Reserve uh, Rain Shine blend Ooh. recently. Wow, that sounds good. It is a single origin from Ethiopia, the Kayon Mountain Farm. Wow, we're getting and, everyone drinking stuff from all around the world right now. Yeah, and you you really know your stuff. We respect that. Um, we are hardcore um, coffee drinkers, and we like to make it done right. So that sounds like you really know how to make your coffee. I try. Thank you. <laughs> um, I have the card in front of me here. It says aromas of lavender with notes of Meyer lemon, ginger spice, mm-hmm. and roasted coca nibs. Wow, that sounds impressive. very. That, is really that good. sounds amazing. We're actually drinking out of the the Milan Starbucks Reserve roastery, so uh, oh, kind of nice. up that alley. But I'd would love to try that sometimes one day. That sounds very exotic. Yeah, um, I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew what any of those have to do with rain shine, whatever that is. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it tastes good. So. <laughs> That's true. Um, what are you doing right now to pass the time during this crazy pandemic, Zach? Uh, well, as you know, uh, I'm a big Led Zeppelin and Grateful Dead fan, and I uh, collect a lot of bootlegs of theirs and try to listen to them on the day that the concert happened. And uh, there's a lot of tours for both of them overlapping, especially in March. So uh, I was listening to a lot of concerts for a while there. Um, That's awesome. I didn't, get, I didn't get to listen to them on the car speakers, which is the best sound quality for recreating the concert experience but the trade-off was i was able to listen to them start to finish which is really nice you got some free time on your hands eh yeah usually when you're out and about you can like hear a few songs on the way to school and then a few on the way back and then a few while you're walking the dog and it kind of breaks the flow you know oh no i i understand what you're saying i love when i get the car jams going so well Thank you so much, Zach, for uh, joining us on Two Chefs in the Kitchen. And uh, we'll be releasing this yeah, next Tuesday. So I hope you enjoy. And, or, and if you ever want to check it out, our website's at twobrosinacoffeeshop.com. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, if you want, you go to our live stream. We just filmed one actually how to make this whipped coffee. So yeah, I, I hope, I hope you like, you're able to check it out. I've heard about that. I might just. Well, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. Well, have a great day, Zach. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks. Man, this is great hearing about yeah. from all our different listeners. We might have different- to do this again. Yes, I'm getting ideas it. of things to do now. Yeah, for- really. Sounds amazing. So, I don't know if you're the finished your The chefs are getting ideas from our listeners, which yeah. is great. Did you finish your coffee yet? I, I thought, am finished. I'm well, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a French one. roast. I mean, this this is kind of blowing my mind. And we're going to start moving into a little bit of the news that's happened recently. Um, and just kind of over the weekend... Uh, the third prototype of SpaceX Starship rocket burst on the test stand. So basically SpaceX is trying to get their larger rocket which is going to carry the people to Mars and they're testing a bunch of things and right now um, they've been trying to test building a case that can hold like the liquid nitrogen for their rockets but Mm -hmm. it's proving to be difficult when you need to build a rocket that big they have to test their giant um, canister and mm-hmm. they've had problems with welds and recently there's a video of um, them testing their third generation their SN3 and mm-hmm. it just just cr- like it's very interesting to watch basically there's this giant silo that's just sitting there on the test stand and all of a sudden it looks like it was crumpled by an invisible hand and it turned into um, like a, a coke can that was being crushed and uh, yeah it's so- very dramatic It is very dramatic Um, and like there's steam of like the just the moisture just coming off of it and it just crumples and then just falls right over so yeah like as Mark's looking at it right now and then just that's crazy it is but I remember wait one second yeah just pour in this one I remember Elon Musk saying something that um, they are always going to be aggressive Mm -hmm. when they're testing and I remember him saying something like if we're not failing half the time then we're not learning fast enough 
Right, because so. you learn from your mistakes, right? You learn yeah. from the failures. And even then, um, Musk just said that, um, tweeted out after this video kind of went live, he said, it might be a test configuration mistake um, may t be to blame. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, this was uh, done April 3rd. So literally, literally for us yesterday, last night and so they're they're gonna look at the numbers and see what's what's wrong with it but you got to push the envelope like that's what they're doing exactly i mean yeah. if if covid gets any worse we need to fly to mars basically yeah he's working drink, on our escape drink plan. coffee and fly to mars that's all that's all you need to do yeah. and some tea I'm, I'm curious what a coffee bean would taste like if it was grown on like the iss or like in low gravity Ooh. like mm. having all the extra moisture coming up the roots and stuff because it would have, have a nice low good like bowl taste you know what i mean because it's like a low frequency you know what i mean <laughs> or we can all assume we can try to, we can try to hope as the salesman's talking to the engineer and the computer scientist <laughs> yeah. about low frequency just trying to be polite <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. okay well to move on we're trying the limited edition french roast okay a little trying clean. another trying another coffee this this oh this smells good doesn't it this why did they just do your why I can barely go I love that. Little, Dark, little, smoky. We're drinking it black, just yeah. letting you guys know. But real black. Which is the only way I really oh. do it. That's fair. How does it taste, fellas? That's I could actually style. drink this black. This like, I don't even style. need to put cream in. But, like, it's hot. Like, and then the cream, like, kind of cools it down a little bit. Or the milk. But it's like... Okay, Mark. It's a oh. rich, bold flavor that's Okay, like, if they didn't discontinue it. this, I'd probably say it's the best. Is it not like which one's your favorite right now? This one. I think you might have to there. drink this one, and I'll have to give you um, a cafe illy because I'll need you to try all three. Okay. Maybe through this whole thing. We'll this is my it. favorite so far. Yes, isn't yeah. it? mine too? Mm -hmm. Like I'm literally like I had Mark. Mm -hmm. Like even Grant can say I still have not put milk in this. That's true. That is very true. Um, you're drinking it straight. So have, you, have your taste changed or what? Like I would think growing? that this is your style. This is, I, this is totally me. This is you. Like, I don't, like, yeah. it's just a special bean. Like, I couldn't drink um, Illy Black, but this one's just, like, it, it kind of, like, it has this, like, really smooth, but, like, I don't, what, you know what I'm talking about? Like, mm. it's, 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 uh, it's not super hardcore, but it's, like, refreshing. It has that, like, light. Yeah, like, it's not too sharp. It's not yes, too Yes, it's not the, sharp. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's amazing. Very flavorful. And you can find That's it. That's why I like. Honestly, right here, it's uh, Starbucks French roast, intense and ins yeah. Found it. Okay, Starbucks helped us out. It's smoky. That's why it's good. It's a smoky flavor. Yeah, that's definitely it. I'm gonna have to take this box <laughs> because it's mine now. Oh my! <laughs> so it's um, basically oh my. These goodness. past couple of weeks, we've given Mark. Um, a local blend of coffee. We've given him actual K pods that he can yeah. do at home, and like we're just giving him all this coffee. Um, and also, we just got uh, uh, an alert. So, but we're gonna keep going. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. So let's see. Uh, you put in this list. Uh, from the list, there's this article that says, when you drink espresso every day, this is what happens to your body. Yeah, I saw that link on the okay. internet. It looks really Whoa. intricate. Because I was like, if we drink this all the time, because yeah. Grant, I told you this on the last on the podcast, yeah. on episode 11, um, we drink espresso. We did Tamp. We did yep. Brothers Coffee. We've done, um, I'm trying to think of another one we've done. We've done almost all espresso blends. So us drinking this all the time for you guys, there's some health benefits, I think, to it. There's some health benefits, and there's also, like, you might have trouble sleeping if you drink espresso every day. That's fair. That makes sense. Um, and then there's also drinking espresso every day could reduce your risk of getting type 2 diabetes. I love it. Reduce your risk. All reduce. Right. Did I, what did I say? Oh, yeah. no, you were just, you were just confirming. What I'm just saying. confirming. <laughs> got it, got it. Okay. Just emphasis. And then if you drink espresso every day, you can improve your long-term memory, which that's interesting. Um, if your daily espresso habit could reduce your risk of a stroke. Oh, um, see? Look at this. You don't it, sleep at night, but you're getting a lot of protein. And here. then this one's especially for Mark. If you're pregnant, during a sp <laughs> drinking espresso every day could be bad I, for your baby. Got to watch out for that one. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, an espresso a day may keep depression away, just kind of lifting up your uh, your spirits that. as well. 
Uh, drinking a special every day might cause your blood pressure to spike. Yeah, as I think that's kind of generally known. Mm -hmm. um, if you drink a special every day, you may experience stomach issues, yeah, which we have had so much coffee right now. <laughs> um, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting uh, the next couple of hours. Um, when you drink espresso every day, you could reduce your risk of getting certain types of cancers. Look at that. Um, if you drink espresso every day, you could cause um, anxiety. Uh, mm. Interesting. That's a weird title. Um, if you drink espresso every day, you could lose weight. Um, you benefit from lots of good for you antioxidants if you drink espresso every day. This is a long list, and I'm not even halfway Your through Your liver will thank you. There you go. Literally anything can happen. Yeah. There's a lot of pros, but there's a lot of... If you drink espresso every day, your liver may thank you. Um, oh, wait, and there we go. Then it comes into if you drink green tea every day, this is what happens to your body. And it's the exact same list <laughs> because they're not very specific. No, it says if you drink happen. green tea every day, you'll probably have you, lots oh, of memory. That seems... Um, more yeah, like I've something heard of you'll probably have. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to get energy from coffee as yeah. well. You likely won't. Oh, this is different. You likely won't have as much anxiety if you drink green tea every day. So basically, Espresso increases it, green tea decreases. Take the opposites okay. and just switch them. Yeah. Good. Your yeah, heart yeah. health may increase. Um, if, but even then, there's still, if you drink green tea, you may put yourself at a decreased risk for diabetes. So basically, um, this is an interesting read. Um, I don't know if you if you're not doing anything. Yeah. Oh, this will definitely be on our website. I will put this the list.com for um, sure. And it will also be in the description for our YouTube. Yep. So uh, let's move on to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 leak reveals design similar to the S20. Ultra. So there's other newer okay. links as well, but I had this one. But basically, they're saying this Note 20 um, is supposed to be a flagship killer. Like it's unbelievable. And everybody's, it's going to be the phone to go to because um, I can't believe my mind right now, but they're saying that there's going to be no front facing camera on it. And people are being skeptical of saying, is it finally under the glass? Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a full Whoa. fledged glass and not, and no camera hole punch out. And I'm about to freak out because what? I'm on the Note 10 and I'm ready to and jump so I, to the Note the 20. Yeah, yeah, cause you got so me on it. Cause exciting. all of a sudden, yeah. little side story. All of a sudden I'm rocking the Note 8 and then Mark has like some Galaxy S5 or something like that, like piece of garbage. The only way he was charging it was from wireless charging, yes. but he's taking it to Bangladesh, um, Dubai, all these places. And I'm like, Mark, you need, like Mark, you're one of our head engineers. You need to please get a new cell phone. He's like, no, it works, it works. And I'm like, no, yeah. this is garbage. You were very offended that I yeah. kept that phone. I was like, I you can hear the offendiveness even you're right always, now. I was you're cheap. recalling it and you're upset. I was so mad. And I was like, <laughs> get a new phone. So then I'm, I'm cause as a, I'm huge in the tech, but my, my huge, like very detailed line is, um, uh, Phones, like I'm huge into phones. If anybody wants to know anything about phones, usually if you, you go to or me if you listen to the podcast, any story about basically every week we have a story on phones. Guess who put those links in? <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> um, so uh, the crazy thing was, I got Mark on this train and I said, "Look at this phone, it's amazing." And then he was just seeing all the advantages of it. I said, 45 watt charging. I said 25 watt if you're just having the regular one. And it has a new, like I think it's it charges wirelessly It with 15 volts or nine volts. It's like one of the higher ones. Mm -hmm. And the glass to body was amazing. It was thin, like it was unbelievable. Like game changer for when it, when it came out. I think it was in 2019, some, uh, early 2019. And Mark was struck away, and he was like, "This is beautiful." And I was yeah. crying on the inside. And, and I was one like, of, can I just add one of my favorite yeah. features? Um, like, I'm an engineer, and in the field, I have a notebook that I'm always taking notes, and I have to do sketches and everything. Yep. And the stylus on this thing, to me, that was the big. It was a new one because it's the Bluetooth too, and it charges yeah, inside. It's so beautiful. So Mark gets it, and then I go to Atlanta. And I'm trying to like fix something in the ceiling, and I jump down below, and I smash my phone, and then all of a sudden I come back the week later, and I'm like, uh, "Mark, I got the Note 10 too," and you're like, "What yeah. the heck?" And then Tim gets the not Note a coincidence 10. at all, by the way, that when he finds out that, that it's he an got awesome a phone, and he just jumps like, off. No, it yeah, was an accident. Then, hey, how did that happen? But then like Tim gets a Note 10, and then Jeremy gets a Note 10. So everybody I know now has Note 10s, but now we got to upgrade to the Note 20. Because if there's no front-facing camera and we have no punch hole and we're just mm -hmm. full glass, man, come on. What other specs are different? Um, I think they're going to have a 65-watt charger. So the oh same as your God. laptop. 
and okay. the expandable the storage is going to be more and the battery life is going to be now 5500 or something like that like we're hitting this oh mm -hmm. 120 refresh rate and um hopefully if they don't do this because the s20 they capped it we can have 120 refresh rate but we can also have 480 one uh because they took that away they make you at 1080 they won't okay. let you for some reason they don't the battery will die so much so they're not letting you go um mm. huawei will let you do it but um and yaomi but uh, basically um yeah like samsung just says no so because wow. i guess they just don't want you to kill your battery and then everybody starts complaining right because yeah. they're like why is my phone dead in five hours it's because you're, you're cranking it as hard as you can mm -hmm. maxing the thing out but it looks amazing like i'm on 60 hertz refresh rate and you are too and mm -hmm. grants on some garbage so what i the, mean what's the size um i think with? it's 7.1 or something grant do you have a size on there yeah let's just see here because the uh, other one was 6.9 i don't even know if they even have a, a an estimate uh wait for the uh, samsung 20 like no 20 size We'll see what it looks like because I'm I'm thinking we got to push the barrier even further. Yeah, I was concerned. That was one of my big concerns. No, no, that's a good time. thing. Like, is it was it going to be too big? But I haven't struggled with the size. The size is. I don't but think the size has been released. For you got the big hands. So come on, like well, here's the thing: if the S twenty is six point nine, it's going to be bigger because the Note ten is the Note twenty is supposed to be bigger and better mm -hmm. than the S twenty. So I'm guessing. Just by myself, I think it's going to be at least um, six six point two, or sorry, seven point two to seven point three inches. It has to be. I really, really, really. Yeah, hope. it's it's going to take a little bit of digging because we don't actually have official um, specs, right? But These just are all yeah, rumors, but just to let you guys bigger. know, um, this will be. Um, we're getting into the tablet territory because I think it's seven point eight. That's the Apple iPad Mini. So if we're getting the six seven point two. And we're in the 7.8. We're um, we're putting we're, we're putting well, tablets is, in our pants. The thing is, is literally um, at work we're working with tablets, and we measured one of our screens, and it was seven inches for our um, industrial tablet oh, wow. that we're making. So if you have a phone that's the size of that, like yeah, that's um, tablet territory. <laughs> oh, buddy, I literally, love, the I Android tablets it. are seven, that's eight, amazing. nine, ten inches, right? So I want. I'm, I'll say this until I die. I need, just keep going, Samsung. Keep going bigger. Like, I want no. a 7.5 inch uh, uh, phone. Okay, it would be so sick. So, let me just grab this iPad and sure give it to that. you. <laughs> and you want them to but keep I want going. That, I want it like like skinny, like this, but I want it long. So, it still fits in I told Grant on the, the podcast, I want a phone, and I want to take like another phone, and then I basically want to fold it down where it's two phones on top of each other for how big they are. Like it's gonna be amazing. Oh, so okay. basically, you want this. So for the people on the video, <laughs> I'm holding Jason's laptop. See, I can fold it flat out, <laughs> hit the mic, and then basically he wants something like this. Fold it in half, and then there you go. Put this in your yeah. pocket. But but, Except but this way. But this way. Yeah. Like I only want it. I only want it like a hand. Like that. That's how big it is. Which which, which would be awesome. No, it would not. Oh. No, it would not. You're not. You're not talking to the crazy tech guy. You're, we're talking to the guy who wears skinny jeans and trying to shove it in his pocket. I drink black coffee now, so come on, let's get on my level. Okay, um, I totally forgot to start a timer, so I believe we are way over time. But let's end it off on a, a nice note. Here, there is uh, from Narcissity. Um, narcity.com someone keeps projecting video games on a Toronto apartment building so basically it looks uh -huh. like they've got the uh, GameCube controller a and, legendary and just wow. projecting it on their neighbors um, like apartment building and like they're just playing games I gotta admit if nice. you're if you're during this whole thing if you're just sitting at home and you're watching some guy play you're screaming out the window come on get to the next level <laughs> get that boss yeah. like that'd you're be cheering so them on. I imagine yeah. though if you got like uh, something like um, Mario Kart or something and you gave everyone oh. control and just be like oh, yeah. everyone's playing Mario Kart from their that balconies. Would be awesome. Oh yeah. Legit. Like or some Smash Brothers. Oh, oh. a Smash Brothers tournament. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that that would be, be that amazing. That would be sick. So like no one's even getting mad at this guy. Probably they're just like yeah. Are, are people well, complaining or no? How, I, how's this being? I, I don't think so. Like I think, I think the cops are too busy right now to really care. <laughs> true. True. So, I think people need some spice in their lives. Mm -hmm. So this is just one thing. This guy was ready. He had the projector in his basement. There just in is case. Mario Kart right there. Yep, literally right Perfect. there. Perfect. It's funny how the first thing you think is Mario Kart. It's just. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, he said when asked if they had received any complaints from the neighbors about the impromptu showings, Dax stated that the community seems to be more happy with the fun, That's more than good. happy with the fun. 
That's so, good. Th- there we go. Like good on Toronto, you, Toronto people being happy with Be each cool. other. Be cool. That is crazy. Be good to each other. He's literally saying, so far everyone is enjoying it as it is not hurting anyone. Besides, what else are we going to be doing with our nights when the e- when everything is closed? So everyone's just going to be watching, having a Smash <laughs> Bros. tournament, just hanging out on their balconies. It's the only way to do it. Love um, it. So yeah, uh, just leaving it on that note, guys, stay inside, stay safe. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to go for a run, like these two guys, got to keep the social distancing apart. Um, for sure and we're gonna stay yeah guys and honestly just we'll make it out of here alive and uh we'll uh we'll join you next week on with two bros or the week after that we'll be we'll we'll be back to our regular two bros in a coffee shop Mm -hmm. um we'll maybe do something like this in the future if you guys like it so just just hit us up right in the description or go to our instagram and just say hey i I love the two chefs in the kitchen uh maybe we'll try something different but we just love to hear from you yep so uh as uh as jason said we'd love to hear from you and we hope you enjoy the rest of your week guys see you later guys peace